Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A woman arrested after a Land Rover crashed into an end-of-term tea party at a Wimbledon school has been rebailed until January next year, according to police. Two eight-year-old girls died and several others were injured after the car broke through a fence into the study preparatory school in July. The 46-year-old woman was arrested at the scene on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. A large crowd of pro European Union protesters marched from the Hilton Hotel on Park Lane to Parliament Square earlier today as part of the National Rejoin March. Dressed in blue and yellow and waving EU flags, speeches were held where Brexit was called a huge mistake and protesters called for Britain to rejoin the bloc. Fifty years on from when the Freedom Pass was launched, 1.4 million pensioners and people with disabilities now use them to travel on London's public transport for free. The initiative, which began in 1973, was widely hailed as a success, although it's recently come under some scrutiny for turning down new applicants. Some noteworthy faces were at Southwark Park today to mark the anniversary. At one point there was a campaign to abolish it altogether. People rose up and it, people recognised then the social benefit of it, but increasingly now with climate change they realise the environmental benefit of it. Getting people out of their cars is absolutely key. So I can't, it might come under threat, but any government or any administration that tried to threaten it I actually think Londoners themselves would prevent it happening. Patients, families and staff members of Guy's and St Thomas's abseiled 160 feet off the roof of the hospital today, facing their fears for charity. Five-year-old Stanley has been receiving specialist care at Evelina's, so earlier his dad decided to brave the heights. Our reporter Alex Isers met him at the top. Stanley has received specialist care at St Thomas's Hospital since he was four months old. Today, he's here to watch his dad abseil alongside 350 others, raising money for three charities. I let him climb his down because I clap at him. Descending 160 feet is daunting for most. But Ross is determined to do it for Stanley and Evelina London Children's Hospital. The nerves are kicking in now. A step over the edge, a quick wave, and it's done. How do you feel? Absolutely amazing. So the main reason why I've done this is for the staff and all the teams at Evelina and guys um, to give something back to them because they've all treated us so well every time. Every penny raised will help fund expert care, specialist equipment and research, but it's also a chance for both NHS staff and supporters to come together. They generate a real sense of community amongst the hospital, amongst our staff, our patients and their families, really giving something back to an, uh, an organisation that's really meaningful for them. So far, the event has raised over £200,000 for the charities and it's definitely raised a smile for Stanley. Alex Isat, ITV News. OK, now it's time to take a look at what the weather's up to. Here's Chris Page. Whatever the weather, it always feels like home. Valent Heat Pumps and Boilers sponsor ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello there. Very good evening to you after a fine, glorious day today. Well, we're going to see that cloud thickening up through the rest of this evening and overnight. The wind's starting to strengthen by dawn tomorrow morning. Could be some light rain at times too, but a mild start as we kick off into Sunday. Temperature's about 12 to 13 degrees. For much of Sunday then, the wind's becoming more of a feature of the forecast. There could be some light rain for a time. The cloud thickening up through the day with some bright spells later, but staying quite mild. Highs around 19 to 21. Bye-bye. Valent Heat Pumps and Boilers sponsor ITV London Weekend Weather. And that's all from us for now. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.